Listen, y'all, I just turned 29 and I've always felt grown, but something about almost hitting 30 makes you feel even growner, like an actual adult, even though I was already an adult. I don't know, something about moving out of your 20s, entering your 30s, possibly, Ishala. You just rethink about your entire life. Like, this is a whole new phase you're going into. So y'all, let me know down below if you're around my age and you just feel this transition as well. Am I the only one who's feeling this? Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's Belanda. So in today's video, I'm going to break down what I do not spend my money on anymore. So at this point in my life, even though I've been slowly transitioning into downsizing and really honing onto my style and knowing exactly what I love, what I don't love, what I want in my life, what I don't want in my life, I've narrowed it down to a lot. I'm really feeling good about this. Like not having a lot of stuff, not buying too much unnecessary things really curating my home my life everything about me so i'm gonna go into a list i think i have about 12 things that i just don't spend my money on anymore it was the time of the past i'm not gonna say i'm never going to spend my money on anymore again in the future but as of right now in this phase of my life it's just not necessary i just don't care for it i don't want it now, the first thing I do not purchase, and that is feminine products. So if you don't know, well, now you know. I transitioned from using pads on my menstrual cycle into using a menstrual cup. That was back in 2019 that I did this transition. So since 2019, I have not purchased feminine products. And that's including pads, tampons. Um, I don't use like different washes they have. And I know there are a lot of companies that are coming out with small companies and big companies that are coming out with these ridiculous products to wash your vag and honestly all of that is not necessary if that makes you feel good sis then go ahead purchase it but your vag is self-cleaning it doesn't need all of these different concoctions in order for it to smell good in order for it to be clean it doesn't need any of that you just need a good old soap and you are good with it y'all i just use my body wash in order for me to clean down there and it's fine i just need something to really take off any bacteria Bacteria, any germs on me with that being said that is the only thing that i use down there and you guys have to understand all of these products that are out on the market are all marketing schemes that's all it is because you do not need a specific product in order to keep her clean it's just marketing it's just the same thing that is already out on the shelves and cvs walmart walgreens just repurposed into something that's really cute a cute bottle a cute name a cute company in order for it to sell to use so if anything the only thing i will repurchase is lubricant because i cannot slip my cup in easily in and out without lube and yeah and that lube literally lasts me a while because i just use a little bit what how many times twice a day five days out of the month five to seven days out of the month every month so that a little bit really goes a long way so i don't have to continuously repurchase also i just had a sponsorship with a lube company so they stopped me up real good so i'm set i don't need to purchase lube for a little bit so the second category i do not spend my money on anymore is wigs webs ponytails all of that pretty sure i mentioned this before you guys already know as you could tell by my little journey over the years i have stopped using wigs or wearing wigs since i want to say 2019 as well or 2018 i want to say 2018 and that's just a personal reason nothing against them i just honestly am in love with my texture with my hair i love my hair showing i love the different natural styles i'm able to create with it i just love 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 my natural hair and i don't care to put a synthetic wig on top of it even when i was wearing wigs i would gravitate towards the kinky straight type hair the more natural looking afro type curls 
I really didn't care for the bone straight, the, the super, super long, ultra fine hair. Um, when it came to sew-ins, I stopped sewing since I was in high school. I haven't done sewing since. I've never even purchased a ponytail before. Uh, the blending and uh, the switching up, I really didn't care for. That look for me is not for me anymore. I definitely appreciate my natural look, what I can create. I have not purchased, purchased, actually purchased hair is so long like because i was working with um hair companies for a while early in my youtube journey career job i will always get them from companies through collaborations and sponsorships the only type of hair i do spend my money on is like braiding hair for my protective hairstyles if i want to do knotless if i want to do passion twist if i want to do faux locks stuff like that but when it comes to like bundles webs ponies all of it mm, sorry i'd rather not the third thing i do not spend my money on are cleaning products now hear me out since moving across the world i have definitely minimized a lot and realized a lot of things i was purchasing was just not necessary and that came to cleaning products i used to have a lot of variations of cleaning products i used to have cleaning products just for the toilet i would have cleaning products just for my floors cleaning products just for my windows cleaning product just for dust like it was just unnecessary so i realized Listen, bleach can do a lot. It can clean and disinfect just about anything. Now I do have a couple of products that I'm still trying to get through and it's taken me forever to get through. That's how I realize all of these extra like degreaser and stuff is not necessary because I literally just use bleach for about everything. So I could use bleach to clean the floors, wipe down countertops, clean my stove tops, pots and pans. Like I could use well, I do have dishwashing soap, <laughs> just to let you know. Like, <laughs> but I use bleach to clean a lot of things, just dilute it, and it cleans everything really well. And or I will use my laundry detergent because I use the powder version in order to clean my shower, to clean my sinks, and stuff like that. So I literally use my laundry products in order to clean my house as well so as of right now i only use three items to do laundry which is my powder detergent my bleach and my fabric softener and then i have my dishwashing soap and that's it <laughs> that i use to clean my whole house the next thing I do not purchase anymore, and this is on the list because I purchased this once this year, early this year, when I first moved into here. Then I quickly realized because of the climate I'm in, it's definitely not necessary. And moving forward, I will not be repurchasing any of these products anymore. And that is, or that are, candles. It's just too hot here to be having candles in the house and i realized that i'm like oh let me go ahead and just wind down and just light up some candles and you know set a mood in here baby it got hot so quickly i was like oh this is not the environment to do this like heat from candle is a lot on top of heat from outside it's too much i was sweating so i realized this is not the place for it even during the summer um the winter time right now it's still not beneficial for me so i still do have a candle here on my coffee table that I've had since I moved in here so almost a year that it's almost done but like I have no desire to light it up and I'm not going to be purchasing any more candles from here on out or from then on out what I do is just make sure the lighting in here is a vibe so I have this light on at night I have light that is coming from my balcony and then I have a light in my room that is very moody all the lights in here are definitely what's a daylight is it daylight i don't know that really yellow soft moody light so that definitely sets a mood in my house and candles are not necessary for me to purchase in order to set a mood the next one i'm actually really loving the fact that i'm not spending money on it anymore manicures and pedicures what yes i do not spend my money on salons anymore and that has been as of recent so i stopped going to get my pedicures done in the salon around 
summertime of this year. And manicures, I stopped doing manicures in the salon about last month. <laughs> I had one last session, I think in October. I have not gone back to get my nails done and I am loving it. One, y'all, keeping up with maintenance in Dubai is expensive. It's expensive everywhere, but even more expensive in Dubai, they know we come here and make sure we take care of ourselves. They definitely tax out here when it comes to salons, beauty, all of that. So if you, if you want to get into a business out here, the salon here are popping. I'm pretty sure they're making coins because they, they're not cheap. And I thought it was expensive to get my Manny and Patty done in Buckhead, Atlanta. Yeah. Here, especially where I live, even more expensive than bucket. So I had to be like, yo, is this really necessary? So what I do now is I do my own mani and pedi at the house and I am loving it, y'all. First of all, I didn't realize I didn't care to be at the salon. And the fact that I didn't think what I was getting was extra because y'all seen some extra nails. But for some reason here, it just takes a lot longer to get my nails done so that was really actually frustrating me one time i was in a nail salon for like three hours just to get the regular what's it gel extensions that i normally always get so i didn't understand why i was in there for three hours it made no sense to me so i realized that was just taking up a lot of my time and then the cost of it on top of that try to schedule it out is just annoying i can't just walk in a lot of the time especially during the busy months like i'm a person if i want to get it done i want to get up and just go and get it done so i've just been doing my nails at the house now i do use a system from madam glam they did send me a uv light and some gel polish and i've been loving it since like i only use white on my toes so it's not rocket science to do gel at home and i've been recently doing my nails here and it looks good it like it looks good. So I am going to get into poly gel. So if that's a video you guys would want to see how I do my poly gels at home, let me know. Comment down below and I will do that demonstration. But yeah, I do have a discount code for um, Madam Glam. So if you guys are interested in getting anything from them, I will leave my coupon code down below. And yeah, I've just been loving using the system in order for me to save a lot of money and also a lot of time and just doing my nails the way I like it and not having to go back and forth with the nail tech about how to do it. Like, let, girl, let, let me just do it myself. The next thing I do not spend my money on is another salon visit, but it's salons for my hair. So the last time I actually went to a salon and paid for a salon service was when I recorded my first silk press ever and that was back in 2019 I think that was right before COVID no I think it was during COVID or early on who knows if y'all know that video that's like one of my most popular videos that's the last time I did go to a salon visit prior to that I did not step foot in a salon if someone touched my hair it was for a shoot or a campaign that the the company you know, scheduled out to get my hair done a certain way. Other than that, no one touched my hair unless it was being braided for a protective hairstyle and or me and or my mama. So I was never the type to have a routine schedule in a local hair salon. Even my trims, I do them myself. Um, I just know my hair and I know what it likes, what it don't like. So it's hard for me to go to a salon tech, even though they know their stuff. Everybody's hair is different. Everybody handles your hair differently. So I just know what my hair likes. And it really does not need a lot of tending for my hair. My hair loves to be left alone. So there's really no reason for me to be continuously going to a hair salon. I could literally count on one hand how many times I've been in a hair salon so I don't spend my money on hair salons and honestly I don't see myself going forward ever going back to a hair salon not because I don't like it it's just not necessary for me and I know how to take care of my hair properly I've been taking care of my hair or doing my hair since I went into middle school so there's no reason for me to spend money on 
a routine hair salon visit. All right. So the next thing I do not spend my money on and I do not ever see myself spending my points on ever again. But hey, never say never. But it's just not for me. And that is anything smoke related like cigarettes, weed, hookah. I've never done weed and I never smoked cigarettes before. But when I first moved to Atlanta, I did double a little bit into hookah and i just quickly realized it was just not for me it's just something about smoking like it's hard for me to like <gasps> i think too much when i'm smoking like it's supposed to be something relaxing but it's kind of stressful for me because like i'm i'm trying to like inhale the smoke and you know blow out the big like it's just too much okay so i just realized it's not for me i don't like it um i don't smoke cigars as well like I, smoking in general is just not for me and i don't want to spend my money on anything smoking related if i go out with friends i'm not going half on a hookah here there are a lot of people who do smoke cigarettes and i just don't understand why i don't and weed of course is everywhere but here like being in atlanta everybody smoke weed so i could be around people that does it but every time they try to pass it to me it's just a no i never have a desire to smoke it like i just don't care for any of it to be honest like it's just not for me honestly to a point where i don't even like to be with guys who smoke any of that like it's just not attractive to me if i find out that you are a smoker it's it's a no it's a no no it's just not something i want in my house i want around me i don't want my clothes to smell like weed or cigarettes or cigars i don't want my home to smell like it i don't mind being around it like outside of my house but people know when they come to my home and if they like when i was back in atlanta if you came to my home and you want to smoke anything you got to go out to the balcony you're not smoking in my house that's just my rule that's just how it is. So, yeah, anything smoking related, no ma'am, no sir. Next, I do not spend money on food that I will not be eating within the next 24 to 48 hours. And that is simply because it will go to waste if I purchase it for the week. I have to purchase it for the day or two. If I purchase it for three days plus, nine out of ten times the food is gonna go to waste because honestly because i go grocery shopping and i cook on the day i am going to eat sometimes you just get tired sometimes you just feel lazy you don't feel like cooking so if i'm buying fresh fruits and vegetables and put them in the fridge or put them in the pantry and that day i don't feel like cooking like fruits and vegetables anything fresh is gonna go bad very very quickly so ever since i've been here being that going to the grocery store is very very convenient for me the day i do want to cook is the day i go grocery shopping and i literally purchase it literally for that meal because I, it's just me so it's not as though i need to make food for the whole week because by day three i'm gonna get tired of it so i just make the portion enough for me and shop only enough for one or two days because a lot of the times i'd be like yo i just feel like eating pizza and order pizza then i have shrimp in the fridge that's gonna go an extra day and y'all know seafood cannot stay for too long so yeah the next thing i do not spend money on and there's something else i'm just like ah, it's a weight lifted off my shoulder it's just it just feels so good not having to plunge money into this and that is anything car related and if you guys seen my other videos i've literally spoken about not having to pay for anything for cars or not having to put my money towards cars or paying for a loan or whatever it is many times before and that is because y'all don't understand like in the u.s anything car related is a big expense a big chunk of our budget when it comes to monthly weekly when it comes to gas maintenance car insurance car loan everything car payments anything car related is very very costly and because we're so used to driving around so much we don't really see that as a big expense because it's very beneficial for us me being somebody who was raised in the south y'all know public transportation is not it in the south you have to have a car your coming of age item is a car sweet 16 if you go back to that show sweet 16 all the sweet 16 ers everybody when they turn 16 what they get a car 
because you could get your driver's license now. So it's something that is ingrained to us that we have to have and because we depend on it so much. And I'm like the number one person when it comes to not wanting to be in anybody else's vehicle, to be honest. Like when I was in Atlanta, I drove everywhere. It was me driving. I do not like to be in the backseat on nobody else's car. Like I have a problem with being stuck in a place and I can't do anything about it. So I always prefer to drive anywhere I go because I don't like being stuck. So if I want to leave, I could get up and leave because I got the keys and I could go. You understand? I don't have to wait for somebody else who doesn't really want to leave yet and just be around people or environments I'm not comfortable in because I came with so-and-so or pay for an expensive Uber to get back home. Mm -mm. I just rather drive myself. It doesn't matter if it's down the road. I rather drive myself. So being that I do not need a personal vehicle here because taxis are so efficient here. Well, when it's not uh, traffic time, like they literally could take me anywhere. When my mom was here, we took a taxi to Abu Dhabi and it was so affordable. And Abu Dhabi is like an hour away. So I just rather get into a taxi if I need to go somewhere far. But a lot of the times, everything that I need is right here in my area so or in my cluster. So I really don't need to spend any money on the extraness of cars. So I am so glad I saved so much this year solely of not having to maintain a car. Next, I do not spend money on items I don't have space for. So there are a lot of times where you walk into the mall or you walk into a store and you're like, oh, this is cute. And you just grab it, not really thinking prior where I'm going to put this, where I'm going to store it, where is it going to be placed in my house. A lot of the times we just take things because at that moment it's cute to us or at that moment we think we need it, but we don't even have a designated spot in our house to put it so i don't do that anymore if i see an item i really think about where in my house i'm gonna put it where would it be useful in my house housing here in dubai is a little different like a lot of houses or places in us you do have that random closet like either it's a coat closet storage closet something like that here you don't <laughs> You don't have such thing. It's literally you, every room is for something. There's no random just space you could just put things in. So I really had to think where I'm going to store it because I don't have just a random storing closet. I'm grateful here. I have an actual laundry closet, which a lot of people don't have or a lot of places don't have laundry closets. So I'm able to utilize that to put my uh, luggage in and, you know, detergent stuff. But a lot of places like the laundry washing machine is actually in your kitchen as an appliance. So there's no way for you to like have your laundry stuff separate. Being here definitely helped me minimize a lot of clutter that I was just hoarding in the US, even though I thought I wasn't hoarding a lot, but here it shows definitely like there's not as much space to just have random stuff off in a closet or off in a cupboard or off in a pantry somewhere because storage space is definitely limited. So I do not purchase things if I cannot envision a place for me to store it or an efficient use for it at my house. Two more to go. So the next thing I do not spend my money on are sales. And that could be Black Friday sales. And because I'm here in Dubai, they do have Ramadan sales. And Ramadan, you know, is like months. <laughs> it feels like months. I think it's like 40 days. Over a month. A month before, a month after, it's just sales, 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 sales. So Ramadan sales is like Black Friday sale, but spread out even longer. And in Dubai, there's always a sale, always a sale, always discounts on something. The only time I really utilized sales here was when I first came here and I was furnishing. That was the perfect time for me to take advantage of those sales because I already needed the stuff. But I'm not just going to go out and purchase because there's a sale, because something is on discount. Um, I have not ever gone to a Black Friday event ever. Um, I did Cyber Monday back in the day, and that was probably like for makeup. But other than that, I do not purchase solely because there's a sale. Because at the end of the day, you are literally just, you're, you're spending money instead of 
saving. So if you see something you really wasn't going to buy, you just spent the money that you wasn't going to spend before. There's, there's really no purpose. And being that I am a business owner and I sold products before, I know the back end of sales, the whole logistics of marketing and stuff like that. So honestly, if I really want something, I don't have a problem purchasing it full price if it's not on sale the time I want it. Like it's totally fine. I'm, because a lot of the times when I try to wait for a sale for something to, for something that I really want, my size is done. It's probably like damaged stuff that you know somebody returned. So I really just purchased what I want at the time that I want it. And the last thing I do not spend my money on are tattoos. I do not have a inch, a dot, a speck of tattoo on me, and that is on purpose. I am terrified of needles, terrified, even to the point where recently when I had to go get my biometrics, uh, my medicals done when I first moved here, I was still crying when they were drying, uh, drawing blood. The lady was like, girl, chill out. I'm so terrified of needles. They hurt so bad. And I don't mind seeing blood, but when I know it hurts, you know, if blood is just gushing, it's fine and you're not crying. But if I know you're in pain and blood is gushing, make me a little woozy. <laughs> so I cannot do needles. And honestly, I do not want any ink on my body. Like I love that clean look. I love my skin being without a mark. I cannot think of anything that I would want to stick on my body forever for me to look at every day and over time the elasticity of your skin is going to wrinkle or diminish it's gonna start wrinkling um the color is probably gonna change the w on you probably gonna end up looking like an m it's just no, I don't. I'd rather have this clean look. And honestly, I, I don't think I could endure the pain. So guess what? I'd rather not spend my money on it. To me, it's pointless to put any type of ink on you. But hey, to other people, it's probably very significant, which I would totally understand. But nah, bruh. Nah, bruh. I am not spending my money on tattoos. All right, guys, so those are the items that I do not spend my money on anymore. Let me know if any of these are on your list as well. Do not forget to follow me on Instagram at imported underscore chocolate, Pinterest, OnlyFans, and like and comment, subscribe on this YouTube channel. With that being said, I thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.